Hey, what's happening, guys? So Crystal Palace are closing in on the signing of Noeru Ahmada. The fee is reported to be in the region of 12 million quid, which is a bargain, really, as many within the game believed he was going to generate huge interest in the summer window. So fair fucks to Palace for getting this done now instead of letting a bidding war ensue. He's already agreed personal terms and is expected to complete his medical at some point today. So this should be officially announced by tomorrow morning. In regards to his background, Ahmada actually came through Juventus' academy, but left for Stuttgart on loan in search of first-team game time. The Germans were so impressed by his handful of appearances in the 2020-21 season that they decided to make his move permanent, and they've been rewarded with both excellent performances on the pitch and a decent profit offered courtesy of Steve Parrish. Moving swiftly on to his style of play, Ahamada is an energetic and combative midfielder who is incredibly versatile in that he can operate all across the central areas. I reckon Vieira will utilize him in a box-to-box -box role in order to provide some much-needed energy and intensity to proceedings, which, in all honesty, has been missing since Conor Gallagher returned to his parent club in June. He's a hell of an athlete, which in turn allows him to cover ground with ease and withstand challenges that come his way, and that bodes very well for the English game. Although there's a lack of range and inventiveness when it comes to his passing, he keeps things simple and will often be the first to receive the ball on the turn before playing a clean and crisp pass to the closest teammate in a forward position. What stands out most about this fella, however, is his strong dribbling ability under pressure. He's adept at skipping past opponents with intelligent body movements that help create time and space, and then driving forward like a bloody bulldozer. Off the ball, he's great at intercepting passes, disrupting the rhythm, and forcing mistakes out of the opposition, which in turn helps regain possession in his own half before quickly turning defense into attack during transition, and that will suit Palace's speedy wingers down to a T. One thing you may find frustrating as a supporter is how reliant he is on his right foot, but we've seen players of that ilk be successful in the past, so you learn to deal with it, I suppose. In his final game for the club, he backed two assists and got sent off during a two-all draw against Hoffenheim, which is some fucking way to bow out. Relegation threatened Stuttgart will be crestfallen about his departure as he's quite clearly been their best player this campaign, but ultimately, it's a sensible decision to be making given their liquidity issues. Hopefully this eases some of the tension that was simmering under the surface at Selhurst Park between the board, manager and supporters regarding a lack of business for a squad in desperate need of strengthening and provides a lift to all those at the club. Cheers for tuning in as always folks, please do let me know what you made of this down below and feel free to ask any questions that you may have in mind. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.